In this video, we're going to cover how to change or manipulate your tax settings on an estimate. Taxes can change on estimates from client to client, especially if you're in an area where uh, different counties or different cities have their own tax settings. So it can be tricky. Um, that said, it's pretty easy and quick to change them on an estimate. First thing you need to be aware of before we get into estimating is that there are tax defaults. If you go to your item catalog and if you click taxes here at the bottom, you'll have a list of all the available taxes for you. Now I've got some test data, so there's some uh, stuff here that's, uh, there's a lot of taxes here and some duplicates. However, what you'd normally have here is a list of any and all of the taxes that you might use when pricing work. If you have a really simple scenario where your state has a sales tax and that's it, then great, you probably only need two taxes. You need one for exempt, for stuff that's not taxable, and then you need one for your state tax, whatever it's called, with whatever rate the state charges. If you are in an area that charges different taxes by county or city, obviously you're going to need a tax for every county or city you do work in. Now your default tax settings are set up here behind a button called Tax Setup Defaults. If I click this, what it's going to show me is step one, step two, step three. Step one is purchasing tax. This is the tax that you, on by default anyway, pay to your vendors for whatever you buy. Step two is the sales tax. This is the tax that you charge your customers on when you sell an estimate or a job. So if I don't charge tax to my customers, I'm going to set these all to exempt. And if I pay tax when I buy things from my vendors, I need to set these to the tax that I most commonly pay. Again, different vendors, different taxes, but you'd set it up to the one that you most commonly pay. So these are my defaults. That, again, purchasing tax, the tax you pay your vendors, sales tax, the tax you charge your customers. When you hit finish and update your catalog, it'll go through your catalog and actually apply those tax settings to everything you've got in your catalog. So that when you make an estimate, those tax settings are the default tax settings for your estimate. So let's jump into estimates now. I'll open a service estimate, but it's the same thing for standard or service. I'm going to go to services and pricing. There's two ways to check the taxes. There's the long way. I can go edit spring cleanup, and then I can hit the tab here that says edit taxes. And what that'll do is give me the purchasing and sales tax for every item I've built in this estimate. So again, I could go to mowing and I'll hit edit taxes and I see the sales and the purchase tax that are being applied to any labor equipment materials that I'm, I'm doing. That's a slow way of changing an estimate. To, if I had to make a change because this estimate's for somebody in a different county, I'd have to go through each one of these for every single item and change it, which is not very time efficient. The best way to make changes for your entire estimate is to go up here and say edit taxes. So I'll click this. If I wanted this estimate, to say I paid a different tax than I usually do because I bought these materials in a different county or city, then I will set the purchasing tax here to the county or city that applies. If I don't charge the customer any tax, I'm going to make sure these are all set to exempt. And then over here, I'm going to choose which services it applies to. Now, this section is really handy if you're in a state where hardscapes is not taxable, but softscapes is taxable, or services are taxable, but install work isn't taxable. There are some states specifically that are very complicated tax scenarios. Here you can say, I want to apply this tax scenario to just these two work areas. And then I could set up an alternate tax scenario for the other four work areas. But for the purposes of this video, let's just apply this tax scenario to all these services. Hit OK and it will then update my taxes accordingly the way I set them in the defaults there. Those are your two ways to change taxes. Definitely the fastest way is to use the edit taxes. And don't forget, you can edit groups of taxes just for specific work areas if you are in an area where hardscapes is taxed differently than softscapes.